Hello everybody and welcome back to Reading Time with Miss Nan. Now today I'm going to read in your story, don't panic, but ooh, we might have a special guest. Should we go see who it is? All right, kiddies, the most exciting things that happened today. I've got for you a very exciting guest. You won't believe it. Are you ready? Look. Ta-da! Oh, it's so exciting! We've got a visitor at the Miss Nun's household. We've got the police. They've come to visit. Wave hello, ladies. They've come. They've taken a very special trip to come and say hello to all my special readers. So I'm just going to go grab my microphone and then we're going to go and interview them. Let's see what they've got to say to us today. Okay, here we have with us today, PTSO Justy. Wave hello, boys and girls. Hi now, PTSO Justy. We've got a few questions to ask you. When you were a young child, what was your favourite book to read? I loved The Far Away Tree by Enid Blyton as a young child. And as yes. I got older, I loved Nancy Drew books because she was like a, a mystery, murder mystery stuff and she could solve crimes. Oh, wow. Thank you. And uh, where was your favourite place that you loved reading your books? On my bed. On your Laying bed? Laying on my bed. Mm. Feet up. Oh, it sounds fantastic. Thank you. And if you had one piece of advice to give to a six-year-old, mm -hmm. what would you give them? Always read the first three chapters of a book before you give up on it, because Ooh. you might find you love it. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much. Right, boys and girls, we've got to say a big thank you. So, way thank you. Thank you. And let's go and read our story with our very exciting police car. Okay, so here I am with my very exciting police vehicle and we're going to read our story today. Now I've picked a story that is about some baddies, I know, but I thought that's what the police... <gasps> they go and look, they look and they search for those baddies and they get rid of them for us and they make them into better people. So today we're going to read a story and it's called The Astro Naughty Naughty Baddies. So they're not naughty baddies here. They're astro naughty naughty baddies. Are you ready to read our story all together? Once there were four naughty naughty baddies. One, two, three, four. And each one was as naughty as the next. I hope you're not like a naughty naughty baddie. One mischief making morning, the naughty naughty baddies were creeping around. When they spotted something that made them come to a sudden excited stop. Can you prove that alien life actually exists? You can? Then come to the President's Palace to claim your toy-tastic reward. The naughty, naughty baddies gave wicked grins and quick as a flash, a mad cat plan formed in their villainous heads. What do you think their plan is going to be, boys and girls? What are they going to do? We could jump on our space hoppers, said one. Boing, boing, boing. Then climb into our badmobile, suggested two. Whoosh! Steal a space rocket, thought free, then blast off at super naughty speed all the way to the moon! Kazoo! Is that a good plan? Do you think that's going to work? The last and final part of the diabolical plan involved capturing some aliens and claiming the fantabulous award. I don't think this is going to work. But, hmm, said Four, just as they were about to boing into action. That doesn't seem quite naughty enough. Then Four arched a fiendish eyebrow. Can you arch your eyebrow? And gave a wicked laugh. <laughs> For suddenly four had come up with the naughtiest plan in the entire universe and best of all it was brilliantly bonkers we should snuffle some knitting needles snuffle 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 swipe some wool swipe 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 and make some gloriously green alien costumes knit 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 Ooh, this sounds like a good plan then we should disappear down a drain Climb up the palace wall, Boom. climb, 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 and hoodlink for the president with our mind-boggling disguises. Do you think it's going to work? Will they disguise themselves well enough to not be noticed? In three clicks of a knitting needle, the drastically great plan was underway, and at an exactly four minutes past snack time, the naughty, naughty baddies landed in the president's bedroom. Are you sure these are real aliens? 
frowned the President. Because Mr. Snogglehogs here thinks they look slightly homemade. Of course they're real, said Four. They even have their weird woolly tentacles. Look! The three green buttoned aliens wiggled and jiggled their weird woolly tentacles with extraterrestrial glee. <laughs> what naughty, naughty baddies! Well, gasped the president after giving it some weird woolly thought, I suppose these creatures do look totally out of this world. Follow me. The president led them down to the deep, dark depths of the presidential palace where he revealed the most fantabulous reward ever. Are you ready for the best reward ever? More toys than the naughty, naughty baddies had seen in their whole villainous lives. It was the moment our four Freenish fraudsters had been waiting for. Yippee! Wow. Imagine having all of those toys for an award. What would you play with first? It's too much choice. Well, those naughty, naughty baddies couldn't help themselves. Grab, grab, grab. One grabbed roller skates. Crash. Two grabbed a chemistry set. Kaboom. And, oh dear, three grabbed something that three should not have grabbed. What's it going to be? Some dangling threads. Well, well. Whirly whirl! Suddenly the naughty, naughty baddies' brilliant plan began to unravel right before their very eyes. Until... Oops! They were completely undone! Fakes! Fakes! Screeched the president. Fake aliens! Mr. Snugglehugs was right all along! Then, without further ado, the President announced a truly terrible punishment for these naughty, naughty baddies. What do you think their punishment should be? Should they go to jail? <gasps> you shall put all the toys exactly back where you found them, he scowled, and go home completely rewardless. Drat and double drat! The naughty, naughty baddies hate tidying up, and they hate losing out. But to everyone's shock and surprise, the naughty, naughty baddies did put away the president's toys, though it took them a long, grumbly time. Moan, groan, moany, groan. I hope you put away your toys a bit nicer than them. But they didn't go home completely empty-handed, for just as the president was getting ready for bed, a loud, weeping wail rang through the night. <gasps> Where's my sweet, sweet Mr. Snugglehugs? came the panicked cry. I just can't sleep without him. Where is he, boys and girls? <coughs> oh my, what naughty, naughty baddies. So what did they take? They took Mr. Snugglehugs. What naughty, naughty baddies. I really hope that you wouldn't be doing that at home. I think you should make some wiser choices than these naughty, naughty baddies did. Well, I hope you've enjoyed reading time with Miss Nun today. And don't forget to make some better choices as we go throughout this day. Have a lovely time today, everybody. And I'll see you next time for more reading time with Miss Nun. Bye.